Pizza is something that's just a staple of any neighborhood. Every neighborhood has the pizza place that people go to. When you think you're homesick, you're actually in pizza withdrawal from that place that you love so much. Slice on Broadway is the epitome of the neighborhood pizza place, but it's also much more than that. It goes beyond neighborhood pizza place and it bridges a weird gap between classic and modern pizza. Meet Rico, the genius behind Slice on Broadway. Yeah, Beach View, uh, a lot of families right here in the neighborhood. Uh, we got to, it's funny now, being here for five years, we saw, you know, kids that were, uh, <laughs> kids that were, you know, you know, 10, 11 years old coming in grabbing slices. Now they're 15 and they look like giants. So it's neat to see, you know, families, even though it's not been that long of a time that we've been here, but still, you know, we can see the progression, how we uh, intertwine with the community and, and develop over the years and grow with them and they grow with us. And with Slice on Broadway embedding itself within Beachview's pizza culture, you get patrons who slightly addicted to the pizza. They've gone through the basics, they've eaten their way through the fundamentals, and are expert on pizza. I just usually get the regular pizza. Lately I've been getting pineapples on it. Because okay. I like pineapples on my pizza. Nice. But I've had it with uh, pepperonis uh, and plain. I've had uh, the, uh, the steak rolls, I've had the pepperoni rolls. Really good. I've had their salads, I've had their cakes. So you've eaten your way through Slice on Broadway? Sort of, it seems that way anyways. <laughs> uh, if someone was going to come here for the first time, what would you recommend them having? Uh, you start with the regular. You can either go for plain or pepperoni, and then you can advance more so to the um, pineapples or Athena or some of the other ones they have. Uh -huh. A lot of different pizzas. Uh, the green pizza and... The, Pizza. You can't go wrong. All right. It's all good. You cannot go wrong yeah. with Slice. Slice is the place. <laughs> but what people don't know is that Beachview is actually home to some of the best pizza places around the city. So a ton of great pizza places right here. We're like in the Bermuda Triangle of pizza shops. <laughs> you know, Fiori's has been there for 50 years. Uh, Vito's, Campiti's. But yeah, we all have our own style and way of doing it. Uh, I can eat one of them for lunch and have us for dinner and you felt like you ate something different because we're, you know, each a little unique. Ours is more of a New York style, it's a little thinner. Uh, you know, we have little different toppings that some of the other ones don't have, so it's a different experience. Slice on Broadway stands out because it combines some of the best elements of pizza I've ever had. It has that thin New York style pizza that everyone's very familiar with. You can get your pepperoni, your banana peppers, but what Rico does is he also has prosciutto and soppressata and a different kind of banana peppers that are just hot and spicy in it. I mean, having to specify what kind of banana peppers in Pittsburgh is insane when it comes to pizza. Book with Chad, a banana pepper expert, to get his thoughts on this predicament. Uh, I think, well, he recommended the banana peppers. Two different kinds of banana peppers. The classic uh, jarred vinegar banana peppers. And then there was a uh, second uh, spicy banana pepper that was fantastic. I strongly recommend it. Uh, burning me up a little bit. Despite only being around for five years, Slice on Broadway has embedded itself in the beach view and pizza culture in Pittsburgh. It bridges the gap between traditional and modern in a way that's fun and interesting to go eat. Um, so Rico had these last words for anyone listening right now, so um, here he is. Give us a try. Uh, you know, like I said, we may not be your style, but I think you're really going to like it. Uh, you know, I think after giving us a try, we might be your new favorite. Mm -hmm.